Have you heard about the recent incident? Well, it's no less than an incident though. Elon Musk got attacked by a CEO of Green Hill Software, Dan O'Dodd, working for BMW iX. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Elon Musk World, where we tell you all the latest news about Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies. In today's video, we are going to tell you about the person who is picking up on Elon Musk by giving an ad in NYT. Don't be a Tesla crash test dummy. In a full-page ad in the New York Times on Sunday, January 16, 2022, the Dawn Project, an organization dedicated to making computers truly safe for humanity, attacked Tesla's full self-driving technology. Founded by Dan O'Dodd, a 1976 Caltech graduate who describes himself on the organization's website as the world's leading expert in creating software that never fails and can't be hacked. The organization claims to be the world's leading expert in creating software that never fails and can't be hacked. Computers are viewed as a grave threat to humanity since they have been hooked up to the internet together with every safety critical device by the Dawn Project. O'Dodd created the secure operating system for projects such as Boeing 787s, Lockheed Martin's F-35 fighter jets, the Boeing B-1B intercontinental nuclear bomber, and NASA's Orion crew exploration vehicle, according to his bio on the website. Green Hill Software, a company that develops operating systems and programming tools for embedded systems, is also founded and led by O'Dodd. The New York Times advertisement titled Don't Be a Tesla Crash Test Dummy is a harsh criticism of the full self-driving robot car experiment. On Twitter, Dan O'Dodd announced the full-page NYT ad as part of a campaign to outlaw Tesla full self-driving. He conveniently left out the fact that his company, Green Hill Software, is a supplier for all-electric BMW iX, a Tesla Model X competitor, due out in 2022. This fact alone is enough to cast doubt on the Dawn's project claims in the paid New York Times ad, but there are other reasons to be skeptical of this endeavor. Cherry-picking FSD beta YouTube videos to fit a desired narrative, for example, does not appear to be very scientific or unbiased, does it? Dan also tweeted about this ad. Today, I placed a full-page advertisement in the New York Times campaigning to ban Tesla full self-driving from our roads. Real Dawn Project is organizing the opposition to Elon Musk's ill-advised full self-driving robot car experiment. A Tesla investor named Dave Lee suggested in a comment under O'Dodd's share of his NYT ad on Twitter that Green Hills has taken money from Tesla competitors, to which Elon Musk responded, Green Hills software is a pile of trash. I think it's only fair and honest for you to disclose which Tesla competitors your company Green Hill Software have taken money from. Elon Musk, Tesla's only response to this bizarre attack so far, called O'Dodd's Green Hill Software a pile of trash, implying that Linux, which Tesla uses as a customized form on its cars, is far superior. Green Hill Software is a pile of trash, Linux, FTW. People are not going to listen to you, Dan. Furthermore, instead of directly testing the technology, using third-party YouTube videos to extract evidence is ridiculous. After watching many hours of YouTube videos of drivers putting FSD to the test, Adod came to the conclusion that the system makes a critical driving error every 8 minutes, as defined by the California DMV Driving Performance Evaluation, and that millions would die every day if it were installed in every passenger vehicle in the country. To demonstrate this point, Odot is offering a $10,000 prize to anyone who can name another commercial product from a Fortune 500 company that has a critical malfunction every 8 minutes. Another red flag is that the ad never uses the full name of the software, Full Self-Driving Beta. It omits the word Beta, which may lead some readers to believe FSD Beta is a finished product when in fact it is still in development. Green Hills recently collaborated with BMW on the iX electric sports utility vehicle, according to the company's website. Nobody knows a product's flaws better than its competitors, according to O'Dodd. He told Fox Business Monday, they tear them apart, they figure out what they do right, they figure out what they do wrong, they know better, and they'll tell you, says himself. Those are things the salesmen will never tell you. Tesla has been testing full self-driving beta with a small group of Tesla owners with high safety scores for over a year. Autopilot, a less advanced driver assistance system, is available on all Tesla vehicles. Green Hill Software was used to create the first version of Autopilot, according to O'Dodd, but he later dropped out of the project because he didn't think it would work. This information has not been confirmed by Tesla. 
The latest FSD beta allows a Tesla vehicle to drive itself into a pre-programmed destination. However, the driver must remain alert and ready to take control at any time. FSD is currently the most expensive driver assistance system on the market for electric vehicles. With each new iteration, the price rises even more. Last week, Tesla announced that the price would rise from $10,000 to $12,000 on January 17th with the release of version 10.9, with further increases expected as technology advances. Elon Musk claims that since the start of the full self-driving beta program over a year ago, there hasn't been a single crash, but that's just as much proof that the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is investigating whether FSD was involved in a Model Y crash that occurred on November 3rd in Bray, California. Full self-driving beta or FSD beta is an early version of Tesla's self-driving software that is currently being tested by a fleet of Tesla owners selected by the company and through its safety test scores. The software allows the car to drive itself to a destination entered into the navigation system, but the driver must remain alert and ready to take control at all times. Tesla began the program in October 2020, and thousands of customers have now received the software. By calling the test program a level 2 autonomous system in beta testing, Tesla has been criticized for putting advanced autonomous features in the hands of customers and leaving the responsibility with them. Tesla has defended itself by saying that it has been careful with slowly rolling out the features to customers it considers safer drivers. Tesla CEO Elon Musk confirmed yesterday in response to a tweet from Tesla shareholder Ross Gerber that Tesla believes there has been no accident in the full self-driving beta program over a year after its launch. Just note, there has not been one incident or injury since FSD beta launch. No one, not a single one, in that time, 20,000 people have died on the road in car accidents. Correct, Elon Musk? Knock on wood. To which Elon Musk responded, correct. It would imply that he is contesting a previous accident report filed with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA. In a complaint to NHTSA, a Model Y owner in the FSD beta claimed that the system caused a crash, but the claim could not be verified. If the report is true, it's remarkable that Tesla hadn't had an accident in millions of miles on the FSD beta. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, human drivers have an accident every 500,000 miles on average, aka all drivers. While impressive, it is more proof that Tesla owners participating in the FSD beta program are being cautious than that the system is safe, as we've seen plenty of videos where the FSD beta would have caused an accident if the driver hadn't taken control. It's a so far so good situation, but we all know that mishaps happen. I expect a significant increase in criticism of Tesla's approach to testing its self-driving system once one occurs. Meanwhile, Tesla is benefiting from a large amount of data from a test fleet that is not only free, but also made up of customers who have paid a significant amount of money to test the system. We can debate whether it is correct, but no one can deny that it is a bold move from a business standpoint. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts? Tell us in the comments section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.